If you're tired of slow websites and want your front end to be blazing fast, then buckle up because today we are diving into a whole new mental model for front end development. So the typical development cycle goes something like this. You build the app, load it with libraries, then after the project goes live, we start thinking about optimization. Sounds familiar, right? But here's the problem. This approach is like building a house, finishing it, and then realizing you forgot to install plumbing. Optimization, when treated as an afterthought, often leads to major refactors, which are time-consuming, expensive, and honestly pretty frustrating. So what's the solution here? Well, instead, let's bake optimization into the design process from day one. Let's shift from just building websites to engineering experiences. So here's a roadmap to make your frontend ridiculously fast. And number one, make sure your backend should send pre-rendered HTML to the browser. Now, why is that? Because this ensures users see content immediately without waiting for JavaScript to load and execute. Think of it like serving them a fully cooked meal instead of just the ingredients and a recipe. Your frontend then kicks in to add interactivity and dynamic content. It's seamless, it's efficient, and most importantly, it keeps your users happy. Remember, the faster your user gets meaningful content, the better their experience. Then for number two, here's the golden rule. Download only what's absolutely necessary. No bloat, no oversized assets. Let's just focus on efficiency. So take images, for example. Initially, you can serve blurred or empty placeholder images. But when users hover over or scroll to a section, you can dynamically load the high quality versions. Think of this as giving the user just enough to stay engaged while preparing the full experience behind the scenes. It's clever, it's smooth, and it keeps performance in check. Then for number three, let's address a common trap, which is library bloat. It's tempting to add frameworks and libraries for every little feature. But let me ask you, do you really need them? Instead, use only what's essential. Sometimes, plain JavaScript or a lightweight library can achieve the same result with half the overhead. Your app will load faster, and trust me, your future self will thank you when you're not debugging someone else's outdated library. Then for number four, let's talk about the LCP, or largest contentful paint. This is the time it takes for the most visible part of your page to load, and it's a big deal for user experience. To nail this, make sure your LCP content, which are things like the hero section or main banner, is stored on a CDN and cached. Your goal should be to fetch and display it within 10 milliseconds. Yes, milliseconds matter. A fast LCP makes users feel like your site is built just for them. It's the digital equivalent of rolling out the red carpet. Then for number 5, we have lazy loading. Where, for anything below the fold, don't load it until the user scrolls down. This way, your page loads quickly and additional content only appears when it's needed. And here's a pro move. When users hover over a link, start preloading its content in the background. By the time they click, everything's ready to go. It's like reading their mind, and who doesn't love that? So it's all these small details that make your site feel intuitive and lightning fast. These techniques are just the tip of the iceberg. There's no one-size-fits-all solution, but by focusing on speed and user experience from the start, you will build a front-end that not only works, but wows and inspires. So that's exactly how you create a blazing fast front end. If you have any other optimization tips, then I would love to see it in the comment section down below. If you found the video insightful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more.